What is up, YouTube viewers? Hey, check it out. I'm going to show you a little problem I have with these uh, Riverside Primera boilers. They're not a bad boiler. Pretty cool layout, but uh, the igniters. And it's more the style of board they're using, but the board... Let's focus there. These circuit boards monitor the amps that the hot surface igniter draws. And you'll see this says... There we go. Proving current 2.7 amps. See that? So we're going to monitor the amps. I'm going to turn this on. And just not quite passing 2.7 enough for it to ignite. There goes the combustion blower. There goes the power to the igniter. The amp will go up as the igniter glows. When I checked it last, it did hit right about 2.7, but I guess it wasn't enough for the board. stalling out at about 2.6 something. Trust me, that igniter is blowing red hot. But, but four blinks. Two, three, four. Which means igniter failure. And it says it checked the amp draw. Which, which I just did. I've replaced this igniter probably twice since this thing was put in here. And our other Riverside boiler does the same thing. As these igniters start to wear a little bit, they won't pull enough amps for the controller to even open the gas valve. It just fails. See, that is... See, that, that is not cracked. It's not broken. That will glow red hot. But it's not pulling enough amps. Here's a brand new one, just like it. It's the 271Y that it replaces. So I'm going to put this in and I'll show it to you. You'll see that it pulls more amp draw and it'll fire right up. Put on the new gasket. Make sure you not don't touch the igniter with your skin. I want the oils on there. Drop that straight down in there. This is how the leads come. They just come with wire nuts. So. It's a high temp variety of wire nuts. Put the amp meter back on there. Focus on it and turn it off. You watch. It'll pull higher amp drop and it will fire right up.
pretty cool. I think I'll get a startup sequence of that. So basically, as you can see, nothing physically wrong with this igniter. And it's the same one as that. But they get worn and then they don't pull enough amps even though they still glow red hot. This is, these are lasting me about six months. So I just put a new one on. Looks like it's pulling almost an amp higher. About 3.3 amps, about half an amp higher. Lighting every time now. Interesting, ain't it? That threw me for a loop the first time I had to diagnose one of the failures to ignite on these Riverside boilers. Because usually, you know, if your igniter has current, you know, and you look at it and it's glowing red hot, you think it's good. You start che checking a bunch of other things, but now everything else is doing supposed to be. And I checked out the circuit board, and it says, oh, approving amp, 2.7. Hmm. And I look up the model, it's a friend wall. And looking up the model number, and you go on the website, of course, the manual shows you that you could, depending on the manual, that you can choose what proving amps you want. So if this had a different control board that would prove the amps at a lower rate, that old igniter would still work. 